Hi, I'm Molly Sullivan with Tennis MD, your source for all your tennis health, fitness, and injury information. Tennis players can get labrum injuries due to trauma to the shoulder joint. The labrum also becomes more brittle with age and can fray and tear as part of the aging process. The pain and injury can often cause tennis players limited mobility and misplay. Today, we visit Dr. Michael Miao, sports medicine orthopedic surgeon, to tell us more about labrum injuries. Labral injuries are an injury to the lining tissue of the cup and the shoulder joint. The liner is a attachment for the ligaments that, sh that hold the shoulder into position as well as the biceps tendon. Um, injuries to the labrum occur with three different basic types of mechanisms. One is repetitive throwing or overhand sports such as th uh, serving in a tennis uh, match. Uh, the second is a eccentric load or a pulling of the biceps as in lifting a heavy uh, weight or trying to pull an athlete off position. The third is a blunt trauma where you actually jam the shoulder in some fashion or direction. The symptoms of a labral tear include pain, popping, generally inside the joint. Um, sometimes when you load the biceps or try to reach or lift uh, heavy items, it will hurt. The treatment for labral tears, if it is symptomatic enough, usually require some type of surgical debridement where you remove torn tissue or repairing the liner back to the glenoid itself. Athletes that have this injury will have some difficulty uh, returning to play if they are a dominant side arm in terms of a thrower or a racket sport, um, if they have uh, high loads in terms of pulling or pushing, they may also have difficulty playing. The treatment of the labral tear in rehabilitation is treatment of the shoulder, getting the range of motion to be equal in one direction and the other, kind of balancing it out. Again, re rehabilitating muscles that are imbalanced. Again, muscle imbalance to me is the, f my definition is certain muscle groups become tight in a steady dysfunction and certain muscle groups become weak in a steady dysfunction. So what we want to do as rehab specialists is to balance that out. Strengthen the weak muscles, possibly stretch some of the tight muscles and gain that full range of motion that the overhead throwing athlete usually needs. And, and labral tears again uh, is not an easy rehab process, especially post-surgically. Uh, that's going to take at least six months before an overhead throwing athlete is going to get back to throwing following a rehabilitation of a surgically repaired labrum. Be sure to keep these tips in mind when you prepare for sports and want to stay strong and healthy. I'm Molly Sullivan with TennisMD.com. Remember, at TennisMD, health equals performance.